For the second year in a row, we have the Battle of Florida in the Stanley Cup playoffs. This year, it's in round number two. We're going to preview this awesome matchup and see how the Lightning and Panthers stack up heading into this rivalry series. Surely going to be a good one. Let's get started. Hey, everybody. It is time once again for another second round series preview. And we're going to be taking a look at the Battle of Florida, the Tampa Bay Lightning versus Florida Panthers meeting in the playoffs again. They played in the first round last year. It was an explosive series, to say the least, both offensively and physically. And definitely expecting some more of the same between these two teams here. These two bitter rivals that's really becoming one of the top rivalries in the NHL with the Panthers and the Lightning. So let's get into here. Let's take a look and get ready for what is surely going to be a really, really fun matchup in this year's playoffs. Starting, we have the one seed Florida Panthers, obviously President's Trophy winner, won the Eastern Conference, finished the year 58-18-6 with 122 points. First in the Atlantic Division, first in the NHL all total. And they played well against Tampa Bay in the regular season, going 2-1-1 one, one versus the Lightning, the team that knocked them out of the playoffs last year. And they are coming off a six-game series win over the Washington Capitals. Obviously, they won four out of six there. And uh, Capitals put up a good fight, but at the end of the day, Florida just proved to be a little bit better and found ways to get the job done. The Florida Panthers had by far the highest scoring offense in the regular season this year, scoring 4.11 goals for per game, first in the NHL. But that offense was not as productive in the playoff round against Washington. The Washington did a very good job of limiting the Panthers scoring and held them to just 3.33 goals for per game in their first round series, which is eighth out of the 16 playoff teams as far as goals for. Uh, goals against, they gave up 2.95 goals against per game in the regular season, which was 12th in the NHL. And that went up in the first round against Washington to 3.17 goals against per game, which was seventh best so far out of the playoff teams in the NHL. So uh, obviously Florida had their hands full in, in round number one. And Washington gave them a very, very tough series. Washington was able to somewhat keep the Panthers' high-flying offense in check. Also forced the Panthers to give up more goals than they did in the regular season on a, you know, per game basis. And uh, Florida still found a way to overcome all that and win that series and move on to round number two. So I think there's kind of two ways of looking at that. You can say, well, oh boy, Florida's in trouble. Washington, you know, really hurt them statistically and, and gave them some issues. But at the same time, I think the fact that Florida was able to overcome that and was resilient enough to still win the series despite that, that's a good sign for the Florida Panthers that they have that resilience and that it factor that you need to win in the playoffs. And they showed it in round number one. Special teams was not good for Florida in round number one either. I mean, this was bad. 24.4% on the power play in the regular season, which was fifth best in the NHL. Zero in the playoffs. They did not score a power play goal in the first round series against the Capitals. A six game series, they did not score a single power play goal. And obviously that is last in the NHL uh, among playoff teams, 16th out of 16. Penalty kill also took a bit of a dive. 79.5% uh, on the PK in the regular season, which wasn't great, uh, 18th in the in the league, but that went all the way down to 70.8% on the PK in the first round series against Washington, which is 12th out of the 16 playoff teams. So the special teams did not help Florida in round number one. If they're going to get by the defending champion Lightning, their special teams is going to have to pick it up. That is one area that absolutely needs to improve for Florida if they're going to advance beyond round two. If it stays like it is right now with the power play doing nothing and the penalty kill only at 70%, that's going to be a big, big issue against a team as good as Tampa Bay. So 
Uh, playoff series are certainly not won or lost on paper because honestly, if you looked at it just on paper, Florida probably shouldn't even be here right now. Um, statistically, you know, Washington is really able to hold them in check, but at the end of the day, Florida had that resiliency to get it done, to win, to fight through. They had a massive comeback win, uh, in that series and, at the end of the day, they were able to move on and will face their in-state rivals in round number two. So speaking of those in-state rivals, we've got the Tampa Bay Lightning, the defending Stanley Cup champions on the other side. The three seed in the Atlantic, um, 51-23-8 and eight on the season. In the regular season, 110 points, third in the division. And they went 2-2 two and two versus Florida in the regular season this year. Uh, beat them obviously in the playoffs last year in the first round and they are coming off a very tight seven game uh, series win over the Toronto Maple Leafs where they were just able to squeak past the Leafs and move on to this round here round number two. Tampa was a pretty good scoring team in the regular season 3.48 goals for per game which was seventh best in the NHL. That went down a little bit in their first round series against Toronto, just 3.29 goals for per game, which was ninth among the 16 playoff teams. Defensively, 2.78 goals against per game in the regular season, which was sixth best in the NHL. Toronto was able to score more than that on them. Toronto uh, forced them to give up 3.43 goals against per game, which was 10th in the in the playoffs so far among the 16 playoff teams so uh, I think Tampa's been giving up too many goals so far in the playoffs that's something that they're going to have to knock down that's a number that needs to decrease in round number two if they're going to win this series Uh, they got to be they got to do a better job of keeping the puck out of their net because Florida as we know has the offensive fire firepower to really make you pay if you can't do that special teams wise Uh, Tampa's power play was 23.9% in the regular season, which was 8th best in the NHL. Dropped a little bit to 21.2% in the first round against Toronto, which was also 8th best uh, of the 16 playoff team. So middle of the road there. Their penalty kill got better, though. 80.6% on the PK in the regular season, 11th best in the league. Up to 85.7% on the PK in round number one. That's their playoff number so far. So six best in the NHL there in the playoffs. So penalty kill has been good for the Lightning. And uh, in a series that is probably going to see some some nastiness and some physicality, the special teams are certainly going to play a role in this series. Uh, these two teams do not like each other. This has become a pretty big rivalry over the past couple of seasons. Obviously, the playoff series last year really pushed it into being, I think, one of the more exciting rivalries going on right now in the NHL. Um, And now we're going to get to see another playoff series between these two teams. There will be no love lost in this this matchup. There's no doubt about that. There will be some physicality. I'm sure there'll be some big hits. They're likely going to get at least a fight or two. Um, You're going to have a lot of scrums and stuff like that. I mean, these teams are going to go at it. They'll be at each other's throats in this one. This is going to be a really fun and exciting series to watch if you like physical, hard, tough kind of hockey. And I know I absolutely cannot wait for these two teams to play each other again and match up again. And um, really, really excited to see how this one goes. Obviously, goaltending is going to be huge. Um, Andre Vasilevsky did not have his best series in round one against Toronto, but obviously still good enough to win and was able to come up big in the games that the Lightning needed him the most. He was able to shut the door and pull out the wins. And that's obviously a huge X factor there for the Lightning. Sergei Bobrovsky, I would say he was good in round one. I wouldn't say great, um, but he was good. He was certainly good enough to win. And um, obviously... They're going to need Bobrovsky to step up against Tampa. I don't see the Florida Panthers beating the Tampa Bay Lightning just with an average goaltender, an adequate goaltender. They're going to need Bobrovsky to have himself a big series and at the very least get some timely saves. I think 
timeliness a lot of times is more important than number of saves sometimes where just you know when you make the big stop we're gonna see if Bobrovsky's able to do that but I don't see Florida winning this series without some big saves from him because uh, Tampa obviously the defending champs for a reason but overall uh, this is gonna be a really fun series a big rivalry matchup the Battle of Florida for the second year in a row in the postseason two very very good teams um, Florida was the best team in the league in the regular season this year. Tampa Bay, the two-time defending champions, their resume speaks for itself. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. This is going to be a great series, and I can't wait to watch it. So that is my preview for the Florida Panthers versus Tampa Bay Lightning second round Stanley Cup playoff matchup. Thank you guys so much for watching. And with that, please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, follow on social media. All those links are down in the description. If you'd like to further support the channel, the links to our merchandise store, membership, and donations are down in the description as well. Keep spreading the word about this channel. Let's keep this thing growing. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll talk to you guys soon.